Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the zip tie posting method. Um, we start off with a 24 inch zip tie. Uh, the goal is to find a zip tie that is essentially the same width as your quilted squares, cotton squares. You can buy these in like Walgreens or CVS. I buy these at Ace Hardware, but you can find them online and Amazon and whatnot too. Um, so you want to make sure that you get your cotton squares. You're going to be making two zip tie posts. Your posts are going to be <laughs> are going to essentially be at the bottom of the V, all the way to about a half inch to a quarter inch above the tip of the ear. That's how you measure your posts. And then you cut them to length. Make sure you have your two of them. Then you're going to want to make sure that you have some nippers so you can take off the corners of these so they're not so sharp. You're just going to have slightly rounded on that bottom of the post there. You can also take, if you're worried about it, you can take um, a nail file or a Dremel tool and grind those down so they're not sharp. So once you have your post rounded, to be perfect. You're going to take your tape. I use two different kinds of tape. One is Covidian uh, by Kendall. The other one is Johnson & Johnson's tape. This is one inch uh, cotton tape. And um, the Covidian is super tacky, so it doesn't come off very easy. So I don't like using it on the skin, but I like using it to attach, um, attach it to the zip ties and to the cotton squares, whereas the Johnson & Johnson's gets used on the actual skin. So the first piece is that you're going to do is you're only going to pull out maybe about two inches worth of your Covidian. Tear it in half so you have two strips. You're going to take your cotton square onto your zip tie. There's two sides. One is really smooth and one is kind of like frayed. The frayed side is going to go against your zip tie. I put it so that when you fold it in half, it's not completely pressed against the bottom. I want to have a little bit of play there because that's going to be the cushion for the inside of the ear. So once you fold it in half, you're going to wrap it around. And once again, I try to make sure that the actual zip tie isn't against the bottom. It's pulled out just a smidge so this is all cushion and no zip tie. Then you flip it over, you take a strip of your tape, you start it on the actual cotton square go around once and then you're going to taper it up against that zip tie so that it is attached to the zip tie. So it looks like that. You're going to do it to both. How are you doing? You have the biggest baby model. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Brock, by the way. <laughs> baby Brock. Drama queen. Then you're going to take that Covidian tape once again. You're going to start it so that it's attached to the actual taped spot. And you're going to walk your zip tie up the middle of the tape. And make sure that it's stuck on there. Then when you go to put the tape back onto the other side, make sure it's already opened. If you pull um, while the tape is still rolled up, you have a tendency to bend your zip ties. So make sure it's completely flat. And then just fold it back over gently. And only affix it to the zip tie itself. Don't press the edges yet. Because then you're going to take and put it against something flat with the cotton square sticking off. There's ear pieces everywhere. The cotton piece sticking off so that the zip tie is completely flush. And you're going to press down on one side. So now you have an imprinted side and a smooth side. This is the side you're going to put your glue on. Baby. So those are your two posts. Now to get ready. Okay. Now's your time. So and then to get ready for it, I do two pieces of the Covidian, roughly, not quite the length of the post, but pretty close. You need to do two of those. 
You're going to do two more of roughly the same size with your other tape. Can you get it? Oh, there it is. Roughly the same length. And then the next two pieces are going to be longer. They're going to be probably about twice the length of your post, maybe three times, <coughs> depending on your dog's ear. Always want more rather than less. So if you're kind of not sure, just do this. The next thing you're going to use is the Torbot bonding cement. Um, this is actually for colostomy bags, so it's meant to go on skin. Um, it works really well. And I use Unisolv adhesive remover to remove posts if necessary, but nine times out of ten it comes off on its own. So then we get the puppy down. Oh boy, puppy. I'm going to just keep him from getting up. So you're going to take your glue. It has a brush. And on the flat side, not the indent side, but the flat side, you're going to apply your glue. I usually don't put glue at this bottom inch or so because it's not going to touch anything. You don't have to put a ton of glue, but you do want even coverage all the way up to almost the tip. Just remember these posts are usually about a finger's width past the tip of the ear, so you don't have to tape, uh, glue it all the way up. Close up your bonding cement because it does dry out easy. <laughs> Let it air dry for just a second. And then you're going to put the, ear, put the post in straight and then use it to pull the bell of the ear out and then gently push it in there just a little bit more. Your cotton should be almost completely hidden. You shouldn't see any of your cotton. Then you're going to, while keeping his head completely straight and the ear up, you're going to just gently press the two together and then hold it still from about um, an inch, inch above his head and press that part against the post. You want that glued. You don't actually want this spot right here glued to the post. If you push in, you're going to create a pocket. So don't push that. You only want from about here up to be stuck to your post. So you wait a minute for it to get tacky and stick. Then with that not as sticky tape, the Johnson's and Johnson's tape, that little strip that's about the size of your post, you're going to apply that. If you want to just hold his muzzle for me, thank you. You're going to stick that against the ear to sandwich it. The whole time, always try to be stretching the ear up without grinding your post into the puppy's ear. This doesn't have to lay against the head. You just want it enough here so that it covers that little bump. And then you're going to gently walk and press that tape up and then mm -hmm. over the tip. So it only up and over. And I don't sandwich um, it from side to side, only up and down. So every time I work this, I'm only going up or down the ear and not ever rolling the tape. Then we're going to take the long piece and at a slight angle, because you're going to go with the, the shape of the head here. We're going to, uh -uh. they don't usually like the tape for next to their face. They think it's going to bug them or something. So you fix that spot there. Then you wrap around, folding the natural fold of the ear against it. So this is, there's a fold here. See that? It's going to go against the, head, the ear. You come around, and then this is the tricky spot. Actually take and gently fold the back of the ear over the post. Oh boy. And then you pinch it, and then I fold the tape. So I sandwich it just a little bit so I get that angle again. Go around. Always make sure your tape overlaps and doesn't pinch the ear. Otherwise, you can get little marks. And again, you press it so that it goes the right way. You're going to put a little pocket sandwich there and go one more time. On the, when you start getting closer to this edge here, when the tape, this starts bending, don't make it too tight. Just gently fold and affix your tape and then tear it so that it doesn't come back around. I think 